Hello guys, I would like to show you an app that I made in my spare time for fun. It's the BIAS2 Importer Explorer tool. It's pretty much a preset manager for BIAS FX2, Positive Grids BIAS FX2. So it looks like this. On your left you have your banks, and in the middle you have your presets per bank. So you select your bank like this. Uh, it's the successor of the tool I made back in 2016, if you guys remember that. It looks like this. <laughs> it's very primitive. I made this using Java Swing. Uh, wasn't a very I wasn't a very experienced programmer back in the day, so. Yeah, it looks very primitive. It is very primitive. You have to set everything up manually to make it work. Uh, it's still fully functional. So if you want to uh, manage presets for Bias Amp and Bias FX1, that's the tool you should go with. But for Bias FX2, you go with this guy right here. So um, when you open this up, if you don't see your banks or your presets, most likely you need to set up your positive grid folder, you need to select it. It should uh, automatically detect it, but if it doesn't for whatever reason, if you have a weird setup, you just go, you click this button right here, and you, it's usually in your documents folder, like this. So you, you click this, you select it, and it, it should run fine. Um, so you select your bank, you have a, you look at all your presets and you can do all sorts of things. You can um, <clears throat> mark a preset as a favorite. You can export a preset. Let's export this preset so that you guys. I'll export it to my desktop. Boom! There it is, right here. E B whatever. This this code is the unique identifier of the preset. That's that's sort of like a, the preset's name or whatever. Uh, so you let's say you want to send this to your friend or uh, you for whatever reason you want to send this privately to someone you don't want to put it in the tone cloud. You send this to someone. You, maybe you want to sell this or something like that. So the other guy picks this up. Um, he opens this tool and he goes right here. He selects import presets. He selects the folder, boom, right there. He just imported the preset. Now, one more thing you should uh, take note of is that when you use this tool, Bias Effects 2 should not be open. Your DAW should not be open. Everything should be closed uh, because of the, there's a, sort of like a, um, a conflict, okay, when both apps try to access the same files, it's not a good idea. So you close Bias FX2, um, you open this up, you do your management, then you close this down, then you open up Bias FX2 and you're good to go. So we just uh, put this in the acoustic folder. Let's say I don't want this to be named acoustic. I don't have any acoustic presets. Let's rename this to Gen. So this is, we can rename factory banks, which is something that you cannot normally do. We can easily move presets from one bank to the other. Just move it to the Bass bank. There it is. Now let's delete it because, yeah, we can delete presets. We can do all sorts of things. Um, but the most important feature is the, uh, we can import multiple presets at the same time, actually. We can... Uh, um, uh, am I missing anything? Let me see. Um, yeah, that's about it. This is um, available for Windows, Mac, and even runs on Linux which doesn't make a lot of sense, but it, it's available for Linux too. It was made with Electron View, so 
what's actually going on is this this window is actually a Chrome browser believe it or not this is a web browser and it's built using web technologies and uh, uh, more specifically the Vue.js framework so there's some info right here just another page of the app and you can visit the github page of the app please leave a star if you like this I really appreciate it so you, it's fully open source fully free and open source you can come right here you can download the source code compile run it modify it make a pull request whatever okay so you, there's uh, uh, some details some technical details here here's uh, instruction how to set this up manually but let's say you're not a programmer you don't know any what any of this means you can just either click here to get the executable for all platforms or you can go to my website tongod.art it's a beautiful website isn't it um and you go right here to the menu buy a supporter tool uh, you scroll all the way down to the big yellow button and you get both the old version and the new version and you're good to go you don't need to it just it's just your dot exe file that you're used to you just set it up boom it just works